Hi everyone, it's Andrew. Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to do a cone chat. I do apologise, it has been a while. Uh, things have been a bit manic here. So, and last week I was a little bit ill, but I'll tell you more about that later. I'm just moving some stuff out of the way. So as per the TMI tag, we're colouring in Myth Morphia by Kirby Rosanis. So I'm actually brave enough to tackle a double page spread again in one of these fabulous books. Let me just find it. Here it is, we are doing this mermaids and castle page, sea castle underwater page. I'm just going to zoom in and we're just going to carry on doing what we were doing then and have a chat. So I'm just going to do this bit of the building on here and then I'll do something else. So yeah, um, how are you all? I hope you are all well. Like I said, I've not been 100% and I'll go into that in a bit of detail in a minute. But. Uh, work has been very busy and like I said I've not been well either so but I hope you're all well so <laughs> I'm fine now so yeah last week I had a very bad sinus migraine attack and um, I had a pain behind my right eye for three days um, it's definitely sinuses because I can feel it in my nose as well it's just it felt really bad behind one eye so I couldn't focus on screen couldn't drive, couldn't do really anything very much at all, so um, I spent most of the time in bed. Paul walked Jennifer to nursery and I just tried to relax. Obviously I had to look after her when she came home from nursery, but you know, uh, I spent, yeah, by that point my head was feeling a bit better, but then again by the end of the day because of the noise and stuff that kids make it was back but I eventually got rid of it on the weekend and I feel fine now. Uh, I do get bad headaches quite a lot when the weather changes, the humidity um, in the air, the wetness in the air, the air pressure changing, uh, when there's a, a, a different front coming in and the sinusitis, it all, it's all linked. I've got a nasal spray and I'm taking that every day, twice a day every day and it does seem to be helping so fingers crossed that I'm alright now but other than that I'm fine. Um, like I said, I've been colouring a bit when I've been feeling up to it, but because I can't, couldn't focus when I was ill for long periods, it would like like a minute or a couple of minutes or just a small section. So I've really been dying to get back into this book. It's taken me long enough to be brave enough to colour my second Kirby picture that now I'm doing it, I really want to carry on with it. I want to get it, I want to do as much as I can. So I've got another tag to do because I've been tagged by uh, Chelsea Marie Kellerin to do her All About Me tag. That is simple, similar, I can't even say it, similar to the um, TMI tag but with a bit more detail I think. So that looks alright, don't know. Let's just give it a bit of you know, different colour. Yeah. Blend it in a I just wanted something a bit darker. But, uh, so yeah, I've got that to do as well. I'll be trying to do that over the next couple of days. I haven't had a chance yet. I also am having trouble because I can't find the cable for my laptop. I'm sure I left it downstairs on the dining table when I was printing up the last couple of um Ava Brown books but now I can't find it so I'm gonna have to have a good look for it tomorrow I've got stuff to do tomorrow so and then if I can find it I should be able to because I'm gonna run out of power before I get everything uh, rendered and edited and uploaded so those of you who've been waiting for a book wrap up I haven't done one for May and I probably won't bother now I will do one for June at the end of the month and I will if you are one of those people who entered the Jack the Ripper book competition I will I promise draw that fairly soon in the next few days it's just being ill and oh, you know I've been keeping up with my eBay even though I haven't been listing, I have listing much I have actually been selling a few things but um, I'm not I've not been overdoing it you know, I've, I listed a few things the other night, but I'm not worrying about it right now. Um, I probably list a few things over the next few days and then 
uh, when I get back from my holiday eventually, if I ever get to it, <laughs> seems like it's still miles away, um, then I'll obviously do loads. But I'm, I'm slowly just testing cameras every now and again. I'll pull the camera out and just put the battery in it and, and see how it's going. So let's just zoom it out a little bit so you can see a little bit more of the image. Um, but yeah, so. I love these mermaids, beautiful in this book. Jennifer's fine. She was very, very, very tired tonight, I've got to admit. And um, I think the heat gets to her as well. It's been quite warm, so it's not been over hot, but it's quite humid, quite muggy still. And I think she's a bit like me. She doesn't like it. Um, and we got... We went down to what? Because my dad wanted to do something and I wanted to get something as well. Um, and when we went down there, down to mum and dad's originally she said she wanted to go straight home and um, she didn't want to go to nanny's but then when we were there she was fine until we um got we're on the way back from what when she started so she's so tired started dropping off in the car so i dropped dad off and i said well i'm going to take her straight home now and by the time we got home and it's only a three or four minute drive she was sound asleep in the car. I literally, I had to carry her into the house. She was so tired. And then she sort of picked up a bit and she had a drink and something to eat and played around for a bit, watched some TV, played with some toys. She went into her ball pit because there's a load of toys in there, cuddly toys, and she was talking to them and playing with them and saying, you're going home now. And then she chucked them out of the door. It was really quite funny. Um, and she, yeah, it was fine. And then we'd ordered a curry. Um, sometimes she'll eat some stuff. She had had something to eat earlier in the evening, so I knew she'd eaten. She would, I know she don't eat much in the evening because she eats so much throughout the day. Um, but it's always offered if she wants it. Sometimes she'll have a bowl of cereal as well. And she just turns around and said, I want to go to bed. Well, okay then. So I got her, put her in a nappy because you know she still doesn't get up and go to the toilet in the night. And uh, she said, I just want to go to bed in my clothes. I went, okay, because I figured she'll be up and down in a minute. She'll be down in a minute. She went up. I put her up. No t no story. No light. She said, don't don't close the gate, mummy. Because we've got the gate on her door because our steep stairs are steep and I don't want to fall in down them. I went, all right. I won't, I won't for now. I'll leave them. I'll leave it. So I left it and I went back downstairs. And then five minutes later, she's down the stairs. So I went back now. I went, all right then. I said, put the telly on, mummy. So, because I'd put, had it on pause and I hadn't changed it yet, so I put it back on for her. And she had a drink of water and a bit of a cough, because like, kids have always got coughs and colds. And she was fine. And then she said, right, I'm going back to bed now. And she went up on her own. She didn't wait for me. She didn't want a story. Uh, normally she has a story every night, and it's a short one, but, you know, when she's a bit older and her attention's there, we'll start reading proper books. Well, they are proper books, but, you know, proper novels, children's books. And she um, she crashed out, went to sleep. She's still asleep now. And I've been checking on her to make sure she's right. She's all right. I love watching her sleep. I know it's, it is creepy if it's not your own child, but your own child, they're just so beautiful and adorable and sweet. Um, so, yeah. So, she's fine. She's just very tired. This heat's got to her again, I think. She hasn't come out in a rash this time. But that, we think, was due to the cream. So, other than that, all good. Paul's downstairs playing his electric guitar. I was listening to him for ages, but I thought, I've got to come up and do this. Otherwise, it'd be another night where I say, oh, I've run out of time. Because I do, I run out of time because I'm so busy doing everything else in the house that I don't get time for this. And to be fair, yesterday I got my new tablet because I had a bonus from work and I thought, I'm going to buy a tablet so I can watch movies on it rather than on my phone. Because there's this app called literally on the in the Android store. So I've got an Android phone called Old Movies, and I put it on my my uh, my phone. But it's not a very big screen, obviously, so it's very hard to watch movies on such a small screen. And you can't I can't get it on my Fire Stick because it's not on available in the Amazon store. So 
I thought if I get a, a tablet, not an expensive one, just an Android tablet, which is what I've got, with my bonus, which I did, I can put it on there and I can watch films and YouTube on there when Jennifer's watching her TV and so on. And that's what I've been doing. So like last night I came up, I was going to do some videos, but by the time I got up here, it was like 10 o'clock. I thought, oh, I just want to go to bed. We stay, it's not, it's not even half past nine yet and I'm quite happily sitting here colouring for a bit. It's going to be very boring for you, this guy, because this is going to take forever to do. <laughs> I'm probably trying to do one of the mermaids or one of the big fishy things even though I don't know what half the fishy things are because fishies are not my thing if that makes any sense um but yeah so I've been doing that and I you know I watched a bit last night and it's very nice so I watched a movie on it yesterday when I got it after I charged it up and I watched one of the oldest movies on the site, if not the oldest movies on the site, and it's only 12 minutes long. Um, back in the day, they didn't make what we now term a feature film. That's why they're called feature films, because you'd have what they call shorts, which would be one or two reels, and then you'd have a long film of like an hour and a half to two hours, which is the featured film, because it's the main show in. And before they had that, they literally were just very short movies. So I watched the Georges Millet, film A Trip to the Moon from 1902. 1902. Like I said, it's only 12 minutes long but do you know what it was beautifully photographed it was it was actually really well done I really really enjoyed it um, and that's the oldest film I've seen so far but I do I do love old movies so um I'm not going to deny that and I'm not going to be ashamed of it. I like old movies. I like modern movies, don't get me wrong. I like movies. I've always loved watching movies. Movies are my thing, do you know? So have you guys been colouring loads in June? That's what I want to know. Have you been colouring loads or have you just been colouring the odd thing? Have you been using pencils or markers? Did you buy anything on Prime Day, guys? I, I didn't. Well, I did. I bought my my um, my tablet, which um, was down like by 30 quid. I had 30 quid off on Prime, on Prime Day. Oh, I was on Prime Day. So that was great. And um, it didn't cost me anything because it was my bonus anyway, so that's even better. But yeah, did you did you get any any colouring stuff on uh, Amazon Prime Day? I mean, I, I didn't really buy any colouring stuff. I have got a couple of books ordered, again, because I've got that. And I've still got a fair bit of my bonus left. But uh, uh, I'm not just going out and buying everything for the sake of it. I, I don't want to. I will buy... Um, what I can, what I want when I, hello it's gone off, no it hasn't, I thought the thing had gone off yet, I'm going crazy, I didn't notice the clock was counting, I'm going mad in my old age, here we go, sorry about that, yeah so I, you know, I'll wait and see, obviously if um, Jade Summer put a book out this week and it's one I want, I'll get it, uh, if uh, Deborah Muller puts out a book I want, I will probably get it. I really, really want to get another set of Prismas. I haven't quite got enough money for that. I might save up for that though. I might do. I've got money for my mum for my birthday because that is coming up soon. She's put money in for me to do. I could put that to one side. I've still got my money from my uh, oh, what the hell is it called? My Google money my first lot because I put that away so I could use put that together and get them with that alternatively I could put it together and get the whole binds but at the moment I'm really enjoying using the prismas again I, I really like them on, in this book and I like it in, on this paper it's really they really really are nice it's been a while since I've used them so I've been using the black widows and markers a lot more 
this is going to take forever to do do you want me to carry on color and chat in or shall I just do this off camera let me know because it is a lot of the same old same old colors for a bit I mean I'm going to change it up in a minute but you know it, and it keeps unfocusing or do I do apologize um, so do you want me to go off and do say a Deborah Muller picture I might do that anyway I mean I quite like Dennis and I wanted to get a bit more of it done I almost did some of it last night but my prisma colors were the other side of the room and I couldn't be bothered to get out of bed so I just used to what I had which was the um what was it coloring can't remember now a pattern I think yeah a pattern in one of the books that I want to finish at some point well I want to finish all of them but I can't see it I'm really really impressed by these people who are doing the 10 books to to complete in 2021 because I think they're doing so well and I couldn't even finish, I don't think I'll even finish one book this year. I might be able to finish a book next year um, if I'm really lucky. But not this year, there's no way. So let's put a bit of colour on this page. <laughs> if you've got a bit of blue and a bit of sandy yellowy colour. But uh, yeah, I'm. I do like using my pencils and I do like using my prismas but I haven't used them for a long time and I must say I think I've taken them on all day with me instead of a cheaper set just because I kind of want to when I go but I've still got plenty of time to, to think about that so I'm not going to worry about that just yet ages We've got Builder in when we're away. Oof. He's going to be, yeah, replastering the hallway and putting a new course of damp proof in to make it all nice and then painting it when it's all been done. Make it all nice and bright because it's quite dark our stairs. There's a small window there, it's not a very big one, so there we go. So I have a drink. I'm going to die Pepsi here. I prefer Coke. Paul loves Pepsi. I'll drink anything. Um, should we give her a dark red hair? She got a skull. She's over here. We're going to give her some red hair. If we use this colour, this what's this colour? And we can put some other reds in it and yeah, she's got a skull. How very nice. Oh yeah, I used to be terrified. Well, not terrified, but these used to really intimidate me. But now, the more I look at the um, Kirby Rosannas, the, the easier I see it, um, the more I can see clearly what I want to do with it. So that's really good. I do have one I want to do in Fragile World soon as well. I've been meaning to start that for a while. But, and I've pulled the book, and I don't know where I've put it. It's probably with my cable on my camera. Pull the sofa out and see if it's down the back of there. It wouldn't surprise me. I was like, I had some. I was doing some colouring downstairs with some gel pens the day, and they were like um, the neon A and art ones. And I put them down, and then suddenly I couldn't find them. And I was like, oh, they've probably gone down the side of the sofa. It's gonna be ages. Pull the sofa out. And then today Jennifer wanted to colour in. And I bought her a colouring book down in what uh, a dinosaur one. And she wants to colour in it. So I got her pens up. And lo and behold, she'd actually put my gel pens in there. She's such a good girl, she'd put them somewhere safe. So what a good girl she is. Putting my pens in her pot so they were safe and wouldn't get lost. So now I can finish that uh, picture as well. Done quite a lot this month. Mostly patterns. I, I mean, I love doing these, but... Mostly I've done patterns. Like I said, I'll probably do some more... Um, 
I will do a complete colouring a complete colouring book collection video at some point. I just got to get it a bit more organised. It'll have um, books I've, books I haven't coloured in, books I have coloured in, and I'll show all my pages and my whips. But uh, yeah, now it's gone out of focus again. I won't be a sack. Anyway, yeah. So I will do that. It's just going to take me. I've got to think of the best way of doing it. So. I think I'll do my, because I keep my the books I haven't coloured in separate from the books I have coloured in. So yeah, I'm just wondering, do I do, so I'll probably do it, um, books I haven't coloured in first, and then I'll probably have to split it because I've got so many. I've got the Colour in Heavens, I've got the Jade Summer, I've got a huge stack of Jade Summer I haven't coloured in, um, and then I've got the rest of them. Then there's the PDFs I haven't coloured in, the PDFs I have coloured in. I'll probably just do the PDFs at the end because um, there'll be obviously a mix of what I have and what I haven't coloured in. So I think I'll put this colour in as well. Um, so that would be, you know, it'd be easier to, to do the PDFs last. And then I'll probably start with doing a shelf at a time so we can do all the jade summer ones and then it'll be all the colour in heavens and then some of the other ones as well that I've got so I've got so many and I'm not complaining because I love my books I love collecting them it's, it's it's a hobby in itself just collecting and the same with supplies I mean would you like to see an updated video of all my colouring supplies because I'm happy to do that as well because that has increased a lot in the last uh, 12 months or since the last time I did it which I believe was January 2020 I think I know I did a Jade Summer video of all my Jade Summer books not that long ago but I will obviously do that again as we're doing the um, complete collections but uh, I've got so many books I haven't coloured in and I am trying to colour in the new ones as they come in. Not so much the Ava Browns, I am trying to colour at least one picture. I make sure I leave a review, but I'm trying to colour at least one picture from each of the uh, PDFs that I get. Um, but I'm trying to colour in the physical books um, and I've already, my shelf is full again after getting it down a bit. So that's one other reason why I haven't ordered much. I have got one book on pre-order, which is a creative haven, and it's the fashions of the 1980s, because I love that. Because I love the 80s fashions. So, I can't wait to get that. That's, that's on pre-order for me, so. And I'm quite happy with that, as long as I get it. When it comes out, I, I, I'm looking forward to that one actually, because I've got something like that. I've got the 50s, I've got one of the, the Art Deco 20s one. I haven't got the 60s or the 70s. I, I don't think I would like those. I've got a few of them. I love the Creative Haven books. I think they're so nice. But I've got so many coloring books, and I will be buying more, guaranteed. Like I said, I've got a couple coming. Um, soon. I swear I must be missing some of my prism colours. I know I've got some, got four of them up here. That's probably why it looks emptier than it is. <laughs> oh, you've got to see this one. It's so tiny. Well, it's not the tiniest one. This is my um, peach flesh one. <laughs> Look how small it is. I have to find the extenders to make sure I take some of them on all day with me. I'm going to have to count my prism colours to see if I've got them all. I would so, so love another set. I am, I am, I really want another set of them. I have got another one of these, don't worry, because I bought it open stock. I occasionally buy them open stock as well, if I need one. Um, same with the polychromos. I, I, I buy them when, as and when I need them.
<laughs> you, don't, you know, um, with the prismas, I have been using them quite, I do I have used them a lot in the past, so I'd like another set, and then I could just replace each one as they, you know, it's more, and, you know, some of the, I've used some of the uh, newer colours for the first time recently, uh, some of the uh, weirder colours, rather, because I've been doing a picture in, which book is it, it's Maria Trolle Flora, and I've been, uh, in different uh, things with it so what's this one light aqua put this on our spines and everything so. i'm going to do a mix of colors on this This is going to take one a hell of a long time to to do this book and this page but do you know what I think if you don't want to watch me colour it all and you just want to watch me colour a bit of it every now and again we can do that and I'll just uh, finish it off camera just got to change my battery because it's dying there we go carry on now are you finished? very nice thank you <laughs> yeah so So you can just generally put a bit in here, not a lot. Because I'm going to go over it with another colour, the greener colour, I think. Okay. Um, and maybe, what colour is this? Pale green, light green, that'll do. So, yeah. Um, oh, and it broke. Got a new sharpener coming tomorrow, so see how it goes. I'm not. Uh, it's one of those lovely dar darling sharpeners that everybody's mad about. Yeah, it's fine now. They got one of them coming, so hopefully that will arrive tomorrow. And I will be filming again tomorrow because I'll be filming the. Uh, all about me tag so Chelsea it will be coming soon don't panic <laughs> no. I know I know some people do find Kirby um, a little bit intimidating and I'll admit I am one of them and I have been and now I am not letting him get to me <laughs> Like, no, Kirby, I am going to colour you if it kills me. <laughs> and I'm actually really enjoying it. So, his books are so beautiful as well. You don't really don't want to ruin them, but it's like, why worry? If you make a mistake, you can always go and buy another book. They are available. You know, go buy another book if you ruin a picture, if you want to have another go. That's my take on it now. And it's how you learn is to make mistakes, so quite like that. That looks quite nice, doesn't it? See, I've got a few bits coming in and I still got a fair bit of money left, so who knows what else I'll buy. At the moment there's not a lot of, I mean I could. I could very easily find another hundred quid's worth of colouring books. I've got enough of them in my cart as it is because the back of the, the the rest of the Jade Summer and the Ava Browns I haven't got but I'm not I, I said I'm going to limit myself to buy one or two of those a month so the next ones of those I'll buy in July because there are other books I want as well so I don't want to spend all my money just on those two but that one in so I've got my pencil somewhere else because there's just not enough space on the desk for it all I've gotten really tired as well so I don't know how much more I'm going to do I'm on about 30 minutes I think I'm going to give her a bit of skin down here as well Next 
nice, looking good. Yeah, I am enjoy quite enjoying this picture actually. It's a nice, nice little challenge, I think. I love the skull. <laughs> oh, this skull's amazing. The skull. Oh, as you can see, I'm only really doing this size at the moment. It is a double coat, it's got all this to do yet. This is why I said I'll do some of it on camera and some of it I'll do when I'm not here and I'll uh, next tell and chat if you want. Uh, we can do something completely different. We don't have to do another one of these. So, so I'm trying to think what to do next. Um, oh, let's do the anchor. We want a, um, a grey colour, this one and a dark one. Um, let's go one, yeah, no, that one and that one will do. Again. So yeah, if you want me to colour something else in the next colour chat, I will, because I know that these big double page spreads, they take forever and it can get quite boring. You know, we don't want to spend forever doing them. I've got loads of um, whips like this. Well, no, not like this. I've got two other ones. But I've got loads of whips. <sighs> it's just being lazy. It's, it's because some of them I've got to do painting on. And some of them I've got to do pastel backgrounds on. And I'm just being lazy. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie. It really is. It's just me being extremely lazy. And not being bothered to uh, get on with it like I should and that's on me and not on anybody else that's me I've got to get my arse into gear and finish them off so that I can show them to you in my finished pictures at some point that would be great yeah so this is why you will you'll see when I forget how little I've actually done um, because it is such a big double page spread. Um, there's another starfish up there, I'll do him in a minute. Ouch. But I think I'll use a different one. Um, who's this one? I don't know if there's a different one or not, I'll be honest. Don't really matter, does it? I mean, mumbling to myself half the time. Oh dear. So is, this is a nice colour. I quite like this. For me little starfish. colour is it anyway? Orange. Oh, pumpkin orange. Nice colour. And they're so smooth, these prismas on this paper. Absolutely stunning. I'm thinking what bit to do next. I might just do a bit of a background while we finish this off for the day. She screeches. <laughs> oh dear, what a day. Ugh. Still, at least it is Wednesday while I'm filming this. It's Thursday tomorrow, so we're nearing the end of the working week. Hey! Which is a relief, I'm going to say. We're so busy at the moment, so. Which is good, because, you know, plenty of work to do means that our jobs are as safe as they can be. So, better and time goes quicker. It is better when you're busy, to be honest. It really, it really is better when you're busy. Mm -hmm. Is anybody doing Christmas in July next next month? Are we doing that this year? I don't know. I haven't heard anything, so I'm happy to do it. I like doing a bit of Christmas. 
I, I think if you can do witches all year round, why not a bit of Christmas? Be a bit cheerful, in it. Make it a bit more cheerful. Especially with the last, you know, almost two, well, 24 months, you know. Last year and a bit. It's nice to have a bit of um, Christmas cheer. And just cheer! It's just nice. Oh dear, I'm itchy. I am itchy. Um, yeah. Very, very tired now. As you can see, this is going to take forever. And I'm not one to put hour long videos up. 40, 45 minutes, I think, is a good length. If I was to do this on camera, it would take forever. So I think I probably will do this off camera. And we'll do something else um, in the next colour and chat. Unless you want to see otherwise. Or what I can do is do most of it and come and finish it off in a colour and chat. So we could do that. Let me know what you think down below. So I've got so many pictures I want to do with you. It's unreal. I've got a book coming tomorrow that I want to uh, colour on camera. I want to do fairy portraits on camera. There's so many of them, so... I might have to do this off camera and, uh, you know, anyway, there we are, we are on 35 minutes I think, which is not bad, but like I said I've hardly done, it doesn't look like I've done anything, it really doesn't. I mean, obviously I'm doing a bit of this blue. But I do like this picture though. So yeah, do look out for the It's All About Me tag because that'll be up in the next day or so. And then hopefully we'll have some uh, flip throughs and another colour and chat before the... Uh, week is out, you know, because we've got the weekend and we we'll do some over there and weekends are a lot harder because obviously I've got stuff around the house to do and make sure the washing's done and Jennifer tends to stay up a bit later on the weekend. But yeah. And of course I like to try and catch up with um, the videos I, I'm, you know, your videos. If you if you make videos and I'm subscribed, and if not, let me know. If you've got a channel, I, I will subscribe to it. If you let me know and leave a link, um, I'll go and do that, or I'll check if I'm subscribed, and I will watch your videos. I don't always leave a comment because I'm usually watching it on my TV, and then I have to pull my phone out or something. But uh, that will probably change when I've got the tablet. So, yeah. If you've got a channel, please let me know down below and uh, I will go and check it out and subscribe. There we go. I'm just going to do this bit around her spines and I'm going to call it a day because I think that's enough of this uh, most probably most boring picture ever although I am, I'm enjoying it but I, I don't know it's going to be a long one if I do it all on camera because it is double page and I will be doing a lot of layering and going over things like the the sea and stuff anyhow as you can see we've not even done a quarter of it yet and that's just one page <laughs> of a double page so, so, so that's it but it is coming on though you've got to uh, one of the mermaids done and she looks really nice and uh, I love her hair really stands out. So I hope you've enjoyed this colouring chat and I hope it's not too boring because it is all very similar stuff. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you very very soon in the next video. Oops, thanks for watching. Bye everyone.